and welcome to Hadoop Exam Learning Resources. In this session, we are talking about one of the Spark transformation functions that is called flat map. That is very important when you work on the Spark. So let's move ahead on the Spark flat map discussion directly. So this is the transformation. So for full training session, we have used this PDF. So I have been selecting here the functions to flat map to to discuss here so flat map produce multiple output for each element so this is one kind of transformations in the spark which takes rdd as an input and produce an rdd as an output so let's say if our rdd contains this element okay learning hadoop learning scala learning edge based learning data size so this is my rdd okay this rdd contains four lines now i want to split this entire file into the word and this word should be in the list so i would be using the flat map functions this functions will actually take as an input one functions that function should return an iterator for each line by splitting the element individually for this and so creating the list so this is my function this should be my function so suppose this is my a uh, data file as an input this is rdd and this is an output rdd okay so this inside this there is a function so this function should produce this kind of output so each word is separated by comma here you can see learning the learning scala separated by comma so new words has been created so now after that i can apply simply word count here to count the word there are better ways to do the counting of the words but i am just giving you here an example so flat map should take as one function as an input which should be able to produce this kind of output for each line so this is an iterator okay this each line in, is an in, iterator exactly and this iterator representing the list of word so this individual line for this is the list of word so this iterator would be uh, written by this so i would replace this question mark with the functions which should be able to return iterator so flat map here in the question mark provide the function which will help to create multiple elements so return an iterator for example split function so we'll use the split function so if you are on java background or C sharp background you understand what exactly the split function does so this split function would help you to separate out the words in the line okay this question or function will not return individual element it return an iterator with the written values okay so this is one iterator so here you can see four iterator would be written to the flat map and then flat map would use this iterator okay so this kind of output would be produced by the split function inside this list iterator one iterator two and iterator and up to the your lines then now this flat map will not return list of iterators it will return all the elements combined from all the iterator so iterator one two and three so output would be produced like this so let's see this example so learning hadoop learning spark learning hvis learning scala when i input rdd i'll apply the flat map and split function what is the responsibility of the split function is to create the list of this learning a scala and this iterator for this latest list would be written so final output would be learning hadoop learning spark learning hvis learning scala so this kind of output has been produced in the rdd so let's see another example here i have created suppose i have a list one two three uh three list inside the list one two three element here list four five six seven eight nine when i apply the flat map function on this rdd it it, it would produce this kind of output it would help me to create the output it depends what algorithm you provide as an input like in split uh, in, like we have provided split here so we have provided here something else so this list um would be produced one two three four five six eight nine so all elements are flattened so if you have know the big high script from the hadoop then you can easily understand this where we have used this kind of functions too much so th this way it would help us to like uh, because the counting here it would be difficult and then uh, this is the one kind of transformation after transformation i would wish to do something else then i can do this so let's do the handsome for the same the uh, this flat map function so uh, let's take an example here uh, let's create a first list here just copy this list contains five elements in this spark shell we we'll use this paralyze this and one two three four five elements would be created 
then we'll be using the uh, this functions uh, flat map correct we want to use so first define the gx functions so where it is gx we have used so define a gx functions what exactly this gx function is doing i'll explain now just so this gx function will take each input element here and create a list out of this three elements so suppose here one as an input so one a zero one and two would be as an output of this function if i provide two as an input then one two and three would be output if so for i will apply this uh, functions for l entirely so for each element three elements would be produced so five list would be created output of as this function so let's do the flat move, move that further and then do the flat map apply the flat map function okay so before that let's do the g map function so okay map is also one kind of transformation and now print the output of the map functions using this so it should be printing five list correct so that would help you to understand flat map further so we have created five list using the map functions and that would be stored into the list now do the directly l dot flat map using the gx function so gx function would produce for each element one list so there are five lists when we this five list is an output the map flat map will flatten this output so let's see what exactly the result contains now first apply the flat map functions so this five list has been as an iterator for this has been created in the flat map and then flat map has to flatten this output so output should contain 0 1 2 1 2 3 2 3 4 3 4 5 4 5 6 all the elements should be in the output as a list okay so let's create the string out of this our output element from the rdd and here you can see that this entire list has been flattened so that is what how the flat map works in the spark and uh, we can use it further so thanks thanks for watching here and for entire training uh, from the spark and Hadoop and Edgebase, you can visit the HadoopExam.com. We have provided, we have used a similar approach to, to give you our training. All the trainings are recorded sessions, so you can watch uh, whenever you have time. And we have another material here as well, like certification material for the Hadoop, Edgebase, Spark, or uh, Amazon Web Service, various certifications. So I would suggest you to plus visit the uh, this website that is our quick uh, hadoopexam.com is our main website so you can visit it for the big data and cloud learning here yeah, this is a general website quicktechy.com where the various technical things are there and i would suggest you to please register over here as well to get the regular updates so thanks thanks for watching uh, i hope you like the ex uh, explanation on the